Why are you always in the fridge? Are you that hungry? Anyways, did not know we were gonna make this episode today, so we got a special episode, and it's raining like crazy, so I'll meet you at the first spot. But that's okay, because today is all about the rain. For those that don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you do, there's been a tremendous amount of rain in the central part of Vietnam, so much so that there's been extreme flooding. So, since I was supposed to travel to central Vietnam, I was unable to, I wanted to make this video specially to donate half of whatever this video makes to the central part of Vietnam to help the families that are in need and in trouble. Also wanted to help make you aware, there will be a link in the description in the comment box if you wanna donate directly, but today is all about showing you one of my favorite lunches, a Kumbin Young here in the lat. Gonna raise the money, gonna give it to some people who are really in some need, so it's gonna be a good day, delicious food, and we're gonna help people who really need it. That's what it's all about. Let's get in here and show you one of my favorite lunch spots in the lat. Tati! <laughs> So like I said, this is my favorite lunch spot. I come here so many times. I think I've, my max is five times in a week. I came just for lunch, for lunch, for lunch, for lunch. I love the Kambin Young so much. What it is, you got a wife and husband team. <laughs> They're running this. They do so many things in here though. Not only are they doing the Kambin Young, they do the Nim Nung, they got Ho Tio, they got Actually, a bunted nung as well. I mean, they do so much stuff here. Dan, quite home. Yeah. Okay. And so the husband and wife really take care of all the Kambin Young stuff. They actually got the people which they've hired that take care of the Bunten Nung, the Nim Nung. And that's gonna be on this side over here. I told you the place is popular. Look at the amount of sticks of meat she's getting ready to go. Is that cool? She kind of pushes that stick in, gives it a few cranks, and out comes a little meat on the stick. You can see he's got three burners going at once. By the time he's done, he's gonna have all three shelves full and just overflowing with food. We're still an hour away from them even opening for the common young. So closest to us, we got the fried chicken in the nook mum sauce going. And their sauce is unbelievable. It's so thick and just rich and flavorful. And you can see it, look at it bubbling. Look at it just condensing and become syrup sweet sticky. going now that's a bad man he is cooking it up and it is uh definitely a storm here in Vietnam wow uh, yo I praise the husband because like wow he's cooking three at once look at the wife five going at once. Even back here in the place where they cook, you see you got four burners going, but she still got this one. I wonder if she started them all with actually the charcoal. the most popular dish you can get any kumbin young the thick ko chung which is going to be pretty much the braised pork and a sweet ko style sauce and then the egg 
this one over the charcoal has everything going right with it. Palm sugar, chili, a bunch of fried garlic. I mean, you saw her throw the aromatics in there like the star anise. Oh, wow. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. I told you that was a crowd pleaser. Look how much she made trying to balance it all in that glass tray. We get an order of this. In case you thought these people were so busy they don't have time to think about others, think again. They got me a cafe so that I even asked for it. Just showed up. Now we go and now we ooh, hello, let's go. Now we go in. Look at that focus. Look at that attention to detail that Big Bro has got. Just staring, focused, zoned in. To that walk. So much effort, energy into each and every hit. So I'm gonna give you all a quick little pro tip. What I like to do if I'm in the mood for some bun noodles, what you do is you order the bun dit nung, which say hold the nook mom. Instead you get the mum nim, add it to it, and you actually have a central dish, bun mum nim. And it's absolutely delicious here because their mum nim is on point. I told y'all we gonna get full up right here and it's starting to load up. We're getting close. Okay, I went up front quickly and I came back and that delicious sauce that she'd been working on is gone, but there's now pork belly prawns going in a walk cooking with some type of sauce. I'm just gonna kind of put some things together and assume all that just came together and it's cooking over that flame. I ain't getting close to that. I felt my heart jump a little bit. And flip flops, I ain't getting close. And we have made it, it's 11 o'clock. You see people are already rolling up. They know what time they open up. They're actually still finishing a few dishes, but people, you know, it's 11, they wanna eat here. There's some good food, I don't blame them. I don't care where you look at this, from the front, from the back, it'd be looking good. Now this is the hard part, I'm like, oh, I want that. Oh, that's delicious, I know that's good, I want that too. We're gonna splurge today and I'm gonna make myself feel better because I'm gonna say it's for y'all. Lady is a machine, always working, always cranking, always going 100 miles per hour. I told y'all I did this for you. Look at this. All right, spoiler alert. It's all delicious, so it doesn't matter where you start. All that matters is you get started. Me personally, I gotta start with one of the goats, the greatest ever for Kumbin Young, the Thit Ko Chung. Just, it's, there, there's a reason it's the most popular. It's so delicious. Just go ahead and dish that one up. Now, I am no scientist, but it has been scientifically proven that when you eat rice out of a bowl, it is three times more delicious than rice eaten in any other form. 
Yeah. I'm not trying to start something. I'm not trying to make y'all mad. I'm just somebody relaying the scientific facts. Now this almost isn't even fair. This is the model piece of Fit Go Doom. Look at that, the way it's been braised in that sauce. Got that little brown tint to it. I put a little satay on mine. Got a little mum nim under it for when I scoop that rice in. It's over before we even got a chance to get started rich fat melt in your mouth pork belly it's sweet it's umami oh you get the mum nim you get the heat from the satay that is just the all around perfect dish gotta have it no matter where or when you eat gum and yum and the only way you should follow that up little mum thumb cup out combo bite Now what I got is a fried fish, going to dip it in that little nook mum mixture. Then we're going to get with our little veg, it's been stir fried here, the rao, the beef. Not 100% sure, from what I've researched, it is just the stems and leaves of a squash plant. I don't know if it pertains to other plants as well, or just a squash plant. Maybe somebody can help me out. Get that all together. That's like the perfect lunchtime bite. Nice, light, flaky, white meat fish. Dipped in that nook chom, little sweetness, little umami. And then the rao dot b. One of my favorite stir fried vegetables. Didn't learn about it till this year. And it's just a winner all the round. The way you got the stems, so it's a little bit more fibrous, more like a celery, but then you cook it down and it gets the sweetness. It's got the salty, it's got that massive amount of garlic. Love it. Next up, muk yong thit, which is gonna be the muk, which I guess could be a cuttlefish, but I'm pretty sure just squid, cuttlefish, kind of falls into that category. Stuffing it with all types of meat, rice, and spices, cooking it up. I like to give mine a little dip in the mum nim, some chili, and rice. The actual squid part of it is just so soft. There's no chew to it. And then you get into the inside and that's where the flavor comes. It's just an explosion. The contrast in textures, you give it the mum nim, get a little funky, salty. And then my satay laden rice. I can't gain weight here because every time I eat, I'm so happy I dance, dance all day long. Honestly, all your vegetables should be dipped in some type of mum dum or mum nim or something. Mm -hmm. mm. And as if I need another reason I love this place, green chilies and garlic bowl, ready to go. I'm a little crazy. The way I like my yahiel, you know, the roasted pork belly is, I actually like to put a little touch mum nim on it as well. It's too good here not to have it on a little bit of everything you're eating. That crunch though, that crunch, that shattering crunch, the roast flavor that seeped into the meat part, the melt in your mouth fat, that's roast pork approved. I feel like it shouldn't be good because they're doing so many dishes. I'm like, how do you how do you keep your attention to detail? You're doing so many things, but they do it. Oh, 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 I blinked. What happened? My rice is gone. I need some more. So good. In case you're ever curious what the perfect starter bowl for your rice, you know, to grab things from the Kumbin Young and put it in here looks like, it's this right here. It's that they got the green chili, you got the mum nim, and you got a nice full, not too full, so you can't add things into it, bowl of rice. Okay, I've never ordered this fish before. I don't know if I've been too tunnel vision when I come here 
or what, but since we order in so much, I decided to give it a try. We got the Kabak Ma, and they're actually cooking it in a nice tomato sauce. It looks nice and oily. All those Roma-like tomatoes have just split open from cooking down so long. Hmm. That is crazy, just how oily that sauce is. Rich, red, you see the chili flake in there. Get it stirred into my rice. <laughs> that fish is just falling apart. That is divine. That is just pure home cooked meal 101. The way it's so oily, it coats your mouth. All the flavor from the chili, the tomato fruitiness sticks to your mouth, and then you just get that meaty white fish. It gives you the texture, the heartiness. Hmm. Superb, superb, superb. I have very, very high standards for this place, and that still exceeded them. That is a comeback, and I'm gonna order it many, many, many times. I did not think that was gonna be that delicious. A little pickled mustard green. If you come to eat Cumbignon and you don't get the cop out and the pickled mustard green, major mistake. Major, major, major mistake. So this is one of the first ones we saw him cooking, which is the gatin. So they're fried chicken with the nook mum sauce. And look at that. Look at that viscosity. Looking almost like a honey sweet syrup. I need some heat with it. A very lean chicken. It's not like when you eat chicken America and it just bursts with juices. It's lean, it's hearty. You get the actual fibers of the protein. Nice little crust on it. It's got a little bit of crunch to it, but really the sauce is what it's all about. Salty, sweet, umami, nook mum sauce. And like I said, you saw it. I'm sure they're using palm sugar. So it's got like that little bit of molasses to it. Mm, get that with some heat. Just a super decadent bite. Look at the rice, look at the rice. I told y'all the facts earlier, rice in a bowl. What, three, four times more delicious than any other way you can have it? Kapow, kaitu, and rice, mum nim. I would literally take that as a meal in itself. Maybe a few chilies, that's all you need. So you saw in the back those pork chops that have been marinating and marinating and marinating. One of the last things they're gonna do is they're gonna throw it on the open flame, grill that up too. These people are crazy, insane. They're like, you know what? If we're gonna do it, let's do it all out. And this is how you draw on the customers right here. You got a smoke radius about three or four blocks going. I eat here so much, I got another first time dish for me. This is actually a sum, which you get with maybe your kum tam or anything like that in Saigon. Fall apart, tender, really lean, no fat to it all. Got a little bit of char on it. Not a big kick of sweetness, maybe I'm just used to Saigon standards, but honestly, it's good. There's other dishes I would rather have. I'd rather have the dick go chung, or I'd rather have the muk yong bit. There's just so many other things. This fish in the tomato sauce, that would probably pick over this, but still done pretty well. That's everything, y'all. Now I gotta do my part, make sure there's none left. Or just like your parents, she said she's gonna slap me if I don't finish it. So, the pressure's on, let's see if we can do it. As I was eating, I took a second to think. I was like, man, everything's so rich, so tekkenit, so flavorful. I need something to cut through these flavors. I realized I didn't get my bitter melon with the meat stuffed in it. So I got that ordered up real quick, get some of that. Ooh, another must order dish. I know I've said that about everything, but I really mean it this time. Oh, Oh, hot. 
I forgot that one was served directly to the table. Oh, that's hot. Very, very valiant. Valiant. I really don't know if that's the word I want. It's a good try, A for effort. That's what I mean. Tentin Tioi. Cool. It's a little bit of food coma. Nam Tam Hai. But you know, no matter how full you are, you always get that little room in your body that wants something sweet. So don't worry, I got you covered. Wrong way, this way. Yes, we're here for Che. I found this lady just kind of walking one day. She invited me in. She's like, hey, come here, eat some Che. I said, yes, ma'am. Can't say no to that. Came in here, tried her Che. It's fantastic. She only has four types, which she does in a day. She sells out super fast, not even one o'clock. And I got the last thing of the Kwai Mong Che, which is the Che with the taro. Che bat, Che Kwai Mong. Mm. Look at that, that texture is just on point. Get a piece of the actual taro, lots of that coconut sauce. Really special, not just gonna pound you with sugar where you're rushing with the sugar high and love it, but that balance of salty, sweet, the coconut flavor, the Kwai Mong flavor, and then the texture of the actual sticky rice. Mm. Mm. Especially on a rainy, cold day like the Dandelat, this is perfect, salty, but sweet. You feel it kind of go down you because it's got that stickiness and warm you up. Mm. Uh, come on. Got to get all that coconut sauce, go back in, get a little bit more. Oh, do it into me. And me. And then the cleanse palette, a little ginger tea, finish it off. And now y'all, I will meet you back at my house for a sign off. What I love about this is you get a lot of old people. You just want to sit here and talk Vietnamese with you. Chance to practice, I'll catch you at my place. Come on, go. Back at the house, sorry, just want to take the opportunity to speak Vietnamese and uh, just cherish that moment, but I'm about to sign off here, about to probably ramble a little bit, so bear with me. Now, I'm a big believer in that food brings us together, food connects us with people that maybe we wouldn't have connected with in the future or any other way possible. So maybe that's why it's obvious why I picked these two places today, because those people make me feel like family. They do not make me feel like a good why. They make me feel like a local. Of course the food's delicious, but it's really truly their attitude and their loving hearts that set them apart. So this video is all about loving others and helping others. That's why 50% of what this video makes is gonna go back into Central Vietnam and help the families that are truly in need right now. So I hope you maybe take a moment, check out the links, maybe even just donate a little bit. Every little bit helps. Do whatever you can to make sure we're helping support people who are truly in need right now. And I guess I'll highlight it one more time. I cannot highlight how delicious the Kambin Young is. That couple is truly putting their heart and souls into the food and doing all the little ingredients. You saw all the prep work, all the tiny little bits of spices and ingredients going into each and every single dish. And then of course the last lady selling the chat with her big smile and just warm heart. Y'all, it's been Max. Thank y'all so much for being here and loving, supporting me. Now let's truly help out some others that need it right now as well. I'll catch you at the next video. Peace.